Good morning. Here we are in our sixth day of isolation. And you know, it's not that bad. We have a routine, a schedule. We start with morning devotions, breakfast, then chores. We get some time for outside activity, fresh air. We garden. My roses have never felt so pampered. We exercise. There's music. There's reading. There's good old-fashioned conversation. We're doing fine. Our kids check on us more than they did for a while. Uh, we're going to get through this. And here's a morning thought. Thank me for the conditions that are requiring you to be still. Do not spoil these quiet hours by wishing them away, waiting impatiently to be active again. Quietness and trust enhance your awareness of my presence. Do not despise these simple ways of living. Although you feel cut off from the activity of the world, your quiet trust makes a powerful statement in spiritual realms. My strength and power show themselves most effective in weakness. And here's a scripture. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And that's Isaiah 41.10. And the old hymn that has come to my mind this morning is, Be not dismayed, whatever be tied. God will take care of you. Beneath his wings of love abide. He will take care of you. God will take care of you through every day or all the way. He will take care of you. God will take care of you. That was written in 1904. It's still true today. Cheer up and enjoy this time of solitude.